Hey guys, what if here, and welcome back to NASCAR Heat for a criminal part number 70. We got Road America and Darlington in this part. We do have momentum, so I don't know where we need to finish for that to not count. I'm just assuming top 10. I'm assuming. So, uh, yeah. So we're good for everything, uh, well, as best as we can for the road course. We have everything set to what we need. So, you know, uh, three times wear, um, relaxed yellows. Just I only put it for three times for... Mid Ohio and Road America because the fuel consumption's weird. Like if I were to do qualifying with four times like wear and fuel, I would be running low on fuel because our fuel will be like three laps or four. It's weird. So that's why I have it that way. Everything else has remained the same. Now we're just trying to build up money to get a, the 95 uh, arrow. And then, yeah, which I think we'll get by the end of the season at the very least. So we got that. So, anyways, uh, without further ado, we'll get into qualifying and uh, see where we start with our mismatch penalty of 85, 82, and 85. Well, what feels like 10 minutes later, we're going to finish our qualifying. We're not going to get our goal position thing, which is pretty much the standard at this point. And it's going to be a 2.11. Wow, that is actually pretty slow. 14th, but that's, we're four seconds off our goal time, but, well. So, uh, let me look. I need to analyze, analyze this, so... We got 211. The goal was a 207. as a top five, like usual. Wow. Fifth to 14th is a four second difference. Damn. And Ross Chastain on pole. That's the third time this season we've had a really strange pole sitter. Or unusual, I guess is the word. So, I mean, we've been pretty good with um, recourses this year. So, should be expecting a top five. John Hunter Neem check in a different 23 car, so that looks cool. Uh, I believe this was not, well, not 2019, but 2018 Bill Elliott ran here. That was pretty cool. Imagine if he was in NASCAR Heat 3. <laughs> I mean, they let Dale Jr. be in the game, as well as a DLC, not in career mode. So, I don't know. Ooh, ooh that, they stacked up a little bit. It's okay, we're using a super speedway chassis, so it doesn't really matter if we damage it, because it's not like we're going to be using this anywhere again until Daytona. And we have a really good start. I mean, just drove up to fifth, which is our, our goal position thing, so that's, that's great, actually. Me and poor Michael Annette have just have beef from Heat 3 still, apparently, in, like, in our own universe, because I just, I, I hate him for no reason. No reason at all. Like, my subconscious just wants to bother him still. That's not nice. Then there we go, we take over fourth. I actually kind of did that on the outside in that hairpin, so that was pretty cool. And uh, uh, we're actually going to make that work. Oh, P2? Almost P2. Now, can we get the outside on Christopher Bell is the, is the question. Which I doubt, because, because we're heading into a very power corner of speed, and we do not have that. So Wait, wait a minute. No, we're still hanging on. Still set. We're, oh boy, this is going to be an awkward corner to go side by side in. Okay. Okay. If finally, something didn't work out. Last lap in the stage, and I guess we'll get third, which isn't too bad, or fourth. Either way, it's still fine with me. Christopher Bell, what did, what did you think was going to happen? You're, you're poking your nose in there. You're just so eager. And look what it got you. It got you nowhere. In fact, you lost spots. And I have no pity for you. Other than Chris for love being stupid, we'll get third in stage one. And we might do a little bit better in stage two, but we are certainly not race winning speed. I mean, Ross Chastain pulled like three seconds on me that lap, so we are just not even close. So, yeah, we're going to... I think everybody should be pitting here. Actually, they're not. I won't either, so. All right, well. I guess I'll see what I do on the restart. Hopefully I don't piss off Michael Annette. Like, I don't know. Like, he has some great schemes in this game. I gotta say. 2019 was a good year for him in paint schemes. Also, that one is, like, Steve Park's one. Which is cool. Gotta, gotta give props to Dale Jr. on, uh... Intentionally doing that, I would have to imagine. Because there's no way that's not on purpose. With the way that looks. And I just... Bamp draft the Ross Chastain. Now we're three wide for a lead. And I just screwed over Ross Chastain to win and potentially get himself into the playoffs. So, aren't I just an absolute, just a dickhead? Right. 
Okay, I tried. I, I pushed it way too hard. Ross Chastain rightfully got by me, so... This is... It, you know what? I, I'm okay with this. Well, that felt like a very uneventful stage, too. But, yeah, um... If anything, it told me that I was right. We have a third-place car. I just don't see me even having any chance of getting anything better than that. Unless we get some wacky pit strategy, so... We'll pay here for tires and fuel... And thankfully, we only lost a spot because we did have repair damage. And we're on the preferred lane because they never switched the road course stuff position thing. So, yeah, it's better to be second instead of first on a restart. Lesson learned in this game. So, um, actually kind of got a good restart through the gears. And, ooh, he got a little wiggly. And we're just going to send it. And, okay, he's going to get it back. All right, well. I tried. <laughs> I tried, damn it. Back to where I belong in third. I <laughs> it's insane, like, how much I'm off from, you know, second and first, and then fourth is just gone. Like, I'm just so far ahead of them, so. I'm just, like, stuck in my own, own little world. There is no excuse. What was that with the camera? Good lord. Alright, well, that was sad. That was all of me. I just completely just missed my braking zone. I'll be pinned next time by. Though it does say we're good on fuel, but we'll, we will be running out on the white flag, and this is not a track you want to run out of fuel on. Especially when it, the point in the track where we'll run out of fuel is right about there, yeah. So, I don't want to really push it or risk it, so. We'll just pit, come to the white flag, just take our fuel, and that'll be it. I'm just hoping we finish fourth, because I feel like that's where we deserve to finish, because that's where we're running right now. Okay, nobody's pitting. Well, that's gonna suck. They should be running out of fuel. I think I sped. Whatever. Um, just that. I hope I can make it on fuel. Not, not fuel, just... How can they make it? I mean, I couldn't. I'm slower, so I technically should be saving more fuel, but I didn't. So how does that make sense? I don't know. My brain hurts. So there is a lot of cars behind me pitting, which I guess is good. It looks like Cole Custer and I'm just took... I'm surprised I didn't get a penalty because I did. I was speeding, I think. So I don't know. But we're fourth, so that's perfect. Now it all comes down to if those cars up in front of me can make it. Even so... Oh, I... <laughs> I don't know. This race got weird all of a sudden. It's like it's it's like it's like Road America is trying to do its best Mid Ohio impression with this game. Somehow Briscoe just won this race and he didn't pit. So I don't know how on earth he was able to save that kind of fuel and gain that sort of pace. So a little bit inhuman, a little bit impossible. But we're still gonna finish fourth, which is where we were running before we pit. So I guess that's still good. But I'm not happy that they didn't pit at all. That's just bullshit. Through the final corner, a little bit slow through there because our tires are kind of worn. Yeah, 23 on the front left. So yeah, it was it's worn. Well, I don't know what more I could expect. It looks like we were going to finish fourth or third no matter what. So at least we got that. We didn't get boned, which is, which is perfect. 100 speed rating. I'm surprised. So Briscoe with the win and so, eh, Chastain was close to him, but he never quite caught up to him. I kind of inadvertently kind of screwed Chastain, but at the same time, he was that much faster. He could have got by Briscoe, but he never did. And Joey Gase got seventh. I don't know how. So, that sucks. I really wanted to see if Chastain could make the, the playoffs, but we'll get a good amount of uh, earnings and all sorts of stuff. Merch payouts even better. 100000 from that, too. And 70% of that was from the sponsor and the merch payout. <laughs> Damn. And... Yeah, Chastain would actually be in at the moment if he ha had he won, but he didn't. And Briscoe is making a late season charge. I don't know. Cole Custer has six wins, though. My God. That puts us at 172,000. Obviously, wear and stuff is not going to be too good. Moderate, yeah. Well, we'll kind of go into Darlington now. Go on to the next schedule. I don't know if we have another hot seat, though. I guess that's what I'm, I'm anticipating. Oh, Algar has something to say. I wonder what it is. Hey, great job out there recently. You started to turn some heads. Keep it up. You know, I don't think 704 understands the concept of 
basic editing. I mean, Windows Movie Maker has it. It's a you can download it for free. You could have cut, like clipped those like beginning and end bits out, and it would have been a little less weird. But hey, until today, we I'm sorry, Ross Chastain, Christopher Bell. I'm not. I don't give a shit if you burn my brats. I'm not gonna go to your thirsty ass party because you want my character so goddamn much. Shut up. On to the next week. And we do have a hot seat. Oh, it's it's Darlington Throwback, is it? Oh, no. That'll be a part all on its own because that's going to be a long ass race. Oh, my. We might have a five-star ride, so that might not be as bad as I'm, as I'm fearing. So that's everything. Um, yeah, we're good to go for Darlington. First race with, uh, with our proper 95 suspension. So looking forward to that. I got to change the settings, though, before I go into that so I don't, you know, screw shit up. So, yeah, well... Back to four, strict yellows, and that's it. Now we'll go into qualifying and see how the car works with this 95 suspension. I told you, it's going to be a game changer. And we got more money because we got the incentive contract, so that gives us an extra 40000 And I did forgot that if you get it earlier, like before the, the within five races, you get like a bonus. So it's like you get 41000 and then you get it you get, you get, you get if you accomplish it. I had a stroke because I'm so excited. Off turn four, that felt pretty damn quick. That's almost the equivalent of a, of a cup time. Sort of. Not quite. But pretty damn good. Ninth? I'll take ninth. That is, that's fine with me. And we're on the inside line, maybe. Unless somebody gets put in the back and we go back to eighth. And Chase Briscoe on pull, so. Alright, well. We got a top five last year here, so. We're with better stuff, so we should potentially win it. I don't know. I like to think we could. So, I guess we'll see. So Chad Fincham, engine change, his Briscoe on pole, John Jackson with problems. All right, well, here we go. I'm going to try to take it easy. And these first couple laps with the field, they kind of spread out because, you know, it's Darlington, AI, or uh, uh, <laughs> I had a stroke again. I'm not excited, apparently. But the AI here, along with Bristol and some other track, they're extra recce. Like, they, they're very spinny. Like, if you hit them, they'll, like, they'll spin. Like, they're really prone to that here. So I'm trying to take it carefully. A very solid first lap. We're already going to crack ourselves up into the top five. So, I mean, that's pretty damn cool. I'm happy with that. Hopefully I can clear Sieg before turn one. I don't. And we make contact. And I put him in the wall for no really no reason, but... Uh, Jeffrey, okay. Alright, P4. Damn, Austin Sinner just drove right by me. Why are we having a five car battle for a lead? Frisco had something happen to him off turn two. But, like, this is. This is disgusting. A five car battle for a lead at Darlington. What is this? I don't know, but I like it. Oh, okay. okay. Alright, never mind. It's now to a four car gap. That was bad. That was really bad and really stupid. Try to get too much out of the car and look where it got me. Into the wall. Cindrix pitting? Why? Why are they? What? Uh. Are we have? I guess it was just him. Did he blow a tire and then immediately head down pit road? I didn't even see any smoke. We'll finish off stage one and fifth. Could have been six, but Cindrix had a pit. I guess for a blown tire because nobody else pitted. So I don't know. Unless he's trying to cheese a some stage strategy. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Stage strategy to get the lead here. That may be what he's trying to do. And he didn't go a lap down, I don't think. And I think he did. Yes, he did. He's going to get the wave around, but he's still going to be in the back. So, yeah, we'll pit here. Four tires and fuel. And only drop. Actually, still in fifth. Running inside line, which is good. I don't know why we have day-night transitions at Darlington for the Xfinity race. Because it was in daytime. So, that doesn't make any sense. So, that that's a uh, shame on 704. Not too bad of a restart. Going to give Briscoe a shot. So 10 laps here, same as stage one. 
Where I seemed like I was starting to, to do stuff right at the end of the stage because I was like 2.6 seconds back and then I gained about like four tenths on that last lap, so. Maybe like 10 laps, we can start doing things in the race, but definitely not in the first nine. <laughs> I don't know. It's not bad. It's certainly, I made a couple of mistakes on my own. But it's, it's easy. It's an easy top five car. That I can say without any uh, shadow of a doubt. Oh boy, I didn't really want to make that pass. I just, oh my god. We're still in like an epic battle. It's like stage one all over again. I just botched the shit out of that corner and just held up everyone behind me. And that benefits no one. Okay. Okay, I see you. I remember that, Gregson. I'm going to remember that. Well, this is not going to end well. All right, Justin Allgaier, uh, he had common sense in that situation. Oh my god, what is this? What was that? Okay, we're good. Okay, block. Okay. Allgaier actually had the smartest idea. I mean, he backed out. That was great. I mean, then look what happened. I, uh, I, I boned myself. Ooh. Oh, wow, <laughs> that bump. Okay, well, I'll take sixth and stage two. Ray Black in the top, Jared Smithley tenth. Okay, well, that's even weird. All right, well, everybody should be pitting here. Um, we definitely cannot. Uh, we might be able to make it on. F no, because I think we burn more fuel lap here for some reason. So 15, 16, and 19. It's going to be. We might be able to make it on fuel. I don't know. Actually, it might be. I don't know. It'll be close. Still in sixth. A couple of positions changed in the back. Ryan C gained two spots there. Now we're into our final, you know, stretch of the race. This should be a little bit longer just because of that caution kind of ending the stage a little bit early. So 16 to go, 16 in the fuel. This, I don't know. I mean, we're kind of close on fuel. I'm trying to get my dumb ass to the bottom lane, and we finally were able to do it. We just need some laps. Like, if we have more than 10 laps, then we have a, we have a serious chance to... To win I think because we were definitely closing at the end of stage one and oh boy I, I'm sorry Custer I'm sorry I I I got no excuse and Noah Gregson got the lead all right well that's a problem I don't want him to win because he boned me and I'm, I want to pay him back wow that's a good run up turn two are we in no, actually, it worked out this time. We get through turn three. Man, this is the little touch, and they just did... Oh, my God. I... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Field. Still in third. I think Michael Annette's faster than Gregson. He's just trying to, like, find a way to get around him. And I'm just waiting. I mean, if they start racing and start battling, I mean, I can catch right up to them and do something, so... I'm, I'm just waiting. I think the reason why I'm also kind of with these top two is just because I have a net draft, so that's kind of carrying me along, because you can see the gap between third, you know, myself and fourth is quite a big amount, and we're actually making a pass. I really wasn't expecting that. Is my car coming alive? It's just, is it starting to do things that I like to see from it? Maybe. But we're still trying to make the pass. We don't really have a draft from Gregson, so yeah, he's gonna get by me. Alright, well. Hmm. Alright. Ooh. Ooh, that was juicy. All right, well, just need a good run off turn two. Perfect. Damn, we're going to go for the lead. <laughs> oh, my God, the car. It's doing things. Oh, I didn't forget, Gregson. I didn't forget. <laughs> Eat shit. Eat shit, Gregson. I, okay, well, that didn't really... That didn't really work as good as I wanted. Well, there you go. Mmm. That was great. That was a good feeling. Eat shit. Okay, I'm starting to get a little concerned because I think we're going to be running out of fuel. On the last lap, if this goes green, our tires are actually worn, so... Um, I may have to pit. Very soon. I'll just take rights, though, but... Yeah, the AI probably aren't bearing out much better either because their tire was on normal, so... 
They should be pinning here soon as well, I would imagine. So, I'll just take rights and that would be it. Just I don't know when to pit exactly. Yeah, we're pitting this lap. Our tires are almost dead. Please do not blow a tire. Please do not blow a tire. I should have pit a lap sooner. 45. Perfect. Alright, just right side. Just a can. Can I go lower? Actually, I can go lower. Alright, well. This is good. This is this is working out nice. Of course. Of course, we get a yellow. However... We did just pit, so everybody, oh. Well, they could take four tires, and well, they might. Well, let's not, Ryan Seek stayed out. All right, I'm gonna stay out too, because I already pitted. And we're second. All right, well, it's green, white, checkered. We actually could cheese the win here. I don't know why I'm in this camera angle, but I think it did that because I was in pit, pit road, but. Yeah, well, that, that changes everything, sort of, so. We need to get a good start here, clear Seek. Hopefully he can block them a little bit. I just don't want to lose it like I did at Bristol, which is almost the exact same way, except minus a pit stop. So, pretty good start. Seeks holding everybody up. I, well, I don't know what the fuck that was, but the game tried. It tried to do something stupid to me. White flag's out, and Seeks right there. And perfect. We blocked them, sort of. Now we set a you know, nail turn three just right. Don't hit the stupid seam. I did a little bit. Saw tire smoke coming out here. It's like, what is that? Okay, we just need to get through turn three. And we gonna block him. Yes, we will. Oh my god, we did it. <laughs> we did it. Off turn four. I'll take it. Yeah. Oh, that was awesome. I didn't expect that. That's adorable. Wow. I I don't think I had the best car, but um, well. I guess, the, did the caution low-key save me? I think so. Alright, well, let's try this burnout thing again. Let's try it again. Okay, let's pr let's try to do it this time. Ooh. Well, that was not good. That wasn't good. Finishing results time. So, thankfully, Darlington pays out pretty well, and we'll get a good chunk of money. So, with our first... Uh, taste of the suspension um, it worked out I mean we, I, we it was a strong top five very very strong top five I'll take it so 114,000 31 the merch 32,000 in the sponsor like usual and 178,000 that's nice I'll take it and with our fifth win of the season that puts us up to seventh in this I think we're still seventh but Cole Custer with a uh, oh, good lord 119 points over Briscoe my god that's <laughs> Briscoe has a championship season on lockdown at this point, like, damn. Now we have a total of 392,000. Yeah, we're, we're building up money pretty quick when we do well like this, so. You like to see it. Moderate driving, yep, I did bang in his beep sign. That's okay. And yeah, we get the incentive contract, so that's another 41,000, so we're at 433. So we're almost there, halfway to our 90, 95. I had, like, I'm, I'm down, like, why am I, so, I'm so excited. Your last one was super exciting, what if it, I wasn't... Alright, well... I can tell you five wins in a season is like... No. No. J Jeremy Clements, when are you going to learn? When are you going to learn to stop being a dick? You completely wrecked me last week. Surprisingly, Cole... Oh, no. Noah Gregson had nothing to say about me. <laughs> he had nothing to say about me destroying him. I'm surprised. So, now we got a cup hot seat, which I'll do next part. And this should be the last one of the season, naturally, because I don't think we're... Would do it, we would do Indy, but... Ooh! <laughs> We're replacing Suarez. Uh, well, not really, because Suarez is still going to be in the race, but, you know... It's... Top three, though. Wow. Um, I guess we got that to do next part, and I, I don't know what... I don't even know if we can do that, but I'll I'll try. Big shout-out to my tier three Patreon supporters, the Dale Reynolds, Willow Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazar, and Dave Bender, Champ 15, Alan Gray, NASCARRiverside.org, Bailey Kier, Sean Hamill, Drew, Jonathan Carden, and Robert Dillon for donation again. I can't thank guys enough for your contribution and support to the channel every single month like this. It just means a lot. And like usual, I'm always just very super appreciative and just very thankful for the help. I'll see you all next part for Darlington in, uh, in Suarez's car. Five-star ride. Um, I don't know what we can do. I hope it's not stupid. I hope we have like adequate speed because I'm going to do a quick race. 
And then I'm going to go into this and, like, do practicing and then compare, like, the times and see if it's, you know, accurate. Because if so, we will probably actually have a damn good race, because it should be pretty fun if that's, if it's everything's, like, balanced there and they're, like, the same speed, so that would be nice. But that'll be, <laughs> having a stroke again. That will be it for me this part. I will see you all in the next one. I'll see you all later, and as always, have a good day, everyone.